All right, let me move on down the line though. We want, again, it was weaving tapestry. Just uh, wanna get everybody in here to have at least a decent show. Uh, the quality level of which matches exactly the money I put into it, which was, you know, the price of this iPad. Weaving tapestry. I'm not following you, so I'm gonna follow you right now. And, ooh, another one with some good art. Here, let me show you guys this. That's uh, that's pretty cool art he's got right there. You guys see that? It's uh, It has layers. It's flowy and pink. Perhaps almost like the a cake with pink frosting, as it were. Uh, this one, do you do the... Uh, I soon, Oh, here, let me read this blurb that you put here. I soon celebrate six months of being on IG as a writer. That is six months of discovering a wonderfully kind and supportive community, community, something that came to me at the right moment in time, and I'm always grateful for... Well, nothing better than to pull out and repost some of my works from the early days of the last six months in a series called The Year That Was. My sixth piece in the series is Tempest Lover. Um, so let me see. I was grateful. Yeah, so this is... I'm going to read it, and I think I probably... People are going to have different preferences on this because I think all the people that are poets on Instagram that I have seen uh, post some text version of a photo that you can either swipe through or, you know, you can do whatever the hell you want, really. And sometimes it's art. But I think for me, for just reading the room, I'm going to just, if it's there, if it's not there, I'll just have to use whatever I can read. But I'll, I'll read the actual text because, I don't know, maybe it'll give it a more... A uh, faithful reading? I don't know. Who knows? The, the, these are these are philosophical questions that aren't as important as finding the cure to AIDS. And so let's skip it. All right. <clears throat> My sixth piece in the series called Tempest Lover. I was grateful for having clapped eyes on him. Wild, unshackled, glowing, beautiful. The kind that snatched the earth from beneath one's feet the kind that left one feeling like one's floating, the kind that swept you up in storms, the kind one knew one would write songs and poetry about. I wanted to own a little piece of his mystery, contain him in a little space of my own, but tempests. They were never meant to be contained. Tempest, he was. He blew over. And once that moment was gone, nothing was the same. Nothing would ever be. Ooh, you got that pain there, my friend. That's, uh, yeah. Like, man, that's like a, a thousand women uh, in my case like that where I just, yeah. But yeah, that, uh, I, I, I hear you. Let me read another one here. And again, your art is, even if you're just scouring the internet for these, uh, yeah, yeah, see, look at, you look at the fun fact, you can't, you can't fly no matter how fast you move your arms, that, that's true, yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> what's funny with the, with the commenting is that it's always like behind, and so you never know what the person's responding to, so what I, what I do is I just respond to the ones that, uh, uh, that I feel that I can add anything to, so. Yeah, I, I I will reserve commentary. I think uh, w one thing I think can happen when you write something and somebody reads it, you go, oh, okay, well, that's the feedback in and of itself. If the person couldn't read it and get what I was getting at, then maybe I need to, you know, kind of like a, you you could look at it like a, a screenwriter, right? Like if he if he's writing a screenwriter and hands it to the actors and Every, every script he writes, the actors fuck up. <laughs> maybe the lines are wrong. I don't know. Or maybe they're shitty actors. You never know. All right. Um, repost some of my work. So, so this is a photo. I'll, I'll read one more of yours, uh, Weaving Tapestry. The, the one... So you have the same... Um, this one... Well, I, I'm going to call this one Firecracker Enchant Enchantress. Enchantress. Yeah, Enchantress. Correct. <clears throat> Firecracker Enchantress, which I can... I, I already like the image already. She's a 
there's a there's a dude, he's a country singer named Oh, I can't remember his name right now, but he has a song where he's like, That little woman is a firecracker. Uh she's a firecracker firecracker enchantress. She's a sparky enchantress. Or he or she. She's an enticing enchantress. A chromatic tinted firecracker. She has a you stunned and bedazzled admit there's nothing quite like her. She's a dazzling little flicker that you think you'd like to tame, but she has you yielded instead as a moth is to a flame. She's the kind of blaze which burning hypnotically soothes your heart, but when that's been extinguished, you have permanently lost a part. She portrays your liberation from every previous pain, and with a new beginning's happiness, leaves you thus forever stained. I like it. It's got some Shakespearean uh, wordplay there. It's got some ding, 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 ding. You want me to do it again? I'll, I'll read it again. I mean, why not? It was, it was a fun poem. All you poets out there with your death and your misery, just give me shit like this. My fifth piece, again, is series, uh, in a series called Firecracker Enchantress. Again, guys, this is, uh, you can see them there in the comments. It is Weaving Tapestry. Uh, yeah, there you go. You got, you're getting props there with the people who are here on this here show. Um, she's an enticing enchantress, a chromatic tinted firecracker. All right, cool. let's, let's, this time I'm going to stop if that's right. Chromatic tinted firecracker. So essentially like a little pipe bomb. <laughs> pipe bombs are usually not used for good things, so that's probably a terrible metaphor. But it does look in my mind like a little tiny, teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny pipe bomb. She has a you stunned and bedazzled admit. I kind of like that little, uh, um, what do you call that, a uh, rug pull that you do there. She has a you stunned and bedazzled. Oh, okay, no, 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 sorry. She has you stunned and bedazzled. Okay, I'm sorry, it was more... I was fucking up, my bad. She has you stunned and bedazzled. Admit, there's none quite like her. She's a dazzling little flicker. Yeah, I like, I, I like all that. Yeah, She's a dazzling little flicker. Think you... Uh, no, no, it's actually the rhyme is... Admit, there's none quite like her. She's a dazzling little flicker. Yeah, that works. That's, that's catchy. Uh, that you think you'd like to tame. I, I assume you're about to tell me that you cannot tame her. Um, but she has you, she has you yielded instead. So, so I, I kind of like, you got this like, um, she has you stunned and bedazzled. She's dazzled, but she, but she has you yielded instead as a moth is to a flame. Yeah, I like it. Kind of a moth being backed up to a flame. She's the kind of blaze which burning hypnotically soothes your heart but when that's been extinguished you have permanently lost a part she portrays your liberation from every previous pain and with a new beginnings happiness leaves you thus forever stained i dig it man uh yeah you guys are just better at rhyming than i am um so i'm just gonna say that uh, word play is uh, superior to anything i have to read <laughs>